Croatia is a little nation, yet it has a significant and broad shoreline with 1,144 islands and islets. This is without a doubt areas of strength for its, a shoreline of turquoise waters and white rock seashores. The boundless blue of the Adriatic diverges from the green of the hilly inside, and the white of its old towns brimming with history. Furthermore, Croatia is an incredible decision for a Mediterranean a style get per way. It has a gentle and charming environment ideal for partaking in the ocean side the entire summer. Disregarding the Adriatic Ocean from the southern tip of the Istrian, promontory, Pula is the biggest city around here. With a set of experiences traversing over three centuries, it is home to numerous old Roman structures. Strolling through its roads is like venturing into an exhibition hall. However, the genuine pearl is the field of Pula. This image of the city is one of the biggest and best of safeguarded Roman amphitheaters on the planet. It was built in the first century in the center of the city and is still today the place where concerts and other important city events are held. In addition to its historical heritage, Pula also boasts a large number of beaches scattered along its long and rugged coastline. It is also known for having a mild climate and crystal clear waters. Not a long way from Pula is the beautiful and heartfelt town of Rovinj. Its excellence has motivated various specialists and this shows in the roads. This is particularly evident in Krasija, known as the Road of Craftsmen, due to the various works showed here. Its tight cobbled roads lead to a maze through which it is troublesome not to get lost, in spite of its little size. However, truly getting lost is the most ideal way to get to know Rovinj. This is the means by which you find beguiling corners and little roads that lead straightforwardly to the ocean and are embellished with wonderful stores. Exploring the roads of Revenge will ultimately carry you to the House of God of Street, Euphemia, overwhelming the city from its 57 meters high. It is the biggest extravagant sanctuary in Istria and offers a wonderful perspective on the city and the encompassing nature. the unimaginable seashores and urban communities of the Croatian coast. There are additionally legitimate and exceptional spots in the inside of the country. One of the regular gems and one of the most mind-blowing spots to visit in. Croatia is Pletvis Public Park, the most established in the nation and a world legacy site. The park is made up of 16 lakes of emerald and turquoise waters that drain into each other. Meanwhile, a hundred waterfalls are responsible for communicating the waters of the upper and lower lakes. Thanks to a long wooden walkway visitors can enter this magical place and explore its paths and corners. The second largest city in Croatia, after the capital Zagreb, is split. It emerged as a Roman settlement 17 centuries ago when the Roman Emperor Diocletian decided to build a palace. Today this palace has become a city, as houses and other urban elements have been added to it. 3,000 residents still live here within the walls, and its extraordinary state of preservation is surprising. This is also where some of the scenes of Game of Thrones were filmed. The old town of Split has become a unique place in the world, protected by UNESCO. In addition, this city is the perfect starting point to visit some of the most beautiful and famous islands of Croatia. 
ferries depart from the port of Split directly to Brack, Var, Vis, and other islands. For all these reasons, Split is one of the best places to visit in Croatia. as the Pearl of the Adriatic. This is one of the most captivating walled cities in the world. Wandering through its staggered alleys is like traveling back in time. Its old town is filled with aristocratic palaces, elegant churches, and medieval fortifications. The best way to enjoy this complex is from the heights. That's why following the almost two kilometer long promenade that runs along, its walls is the best option. From here you have a 360 view of both the entire city and the blue sea of the Dalmatian coast that surrounds it. Some of the best scenes of the series Game of Thrones were filmed in this. Impressive scenery. In fact, it is so magical that it has also been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This national park is a true natural paradise located near the historic town of Sibinik. It consists of seven waterfalls through which the river KRK is jumping from its source to reach the sea. The most spectacular is the Skradinsky waterfall where it is possible to swim in its emerald waters. Along its course, the river KRK also forms canyons, caves and lakes such as Vizivak. In the center of this lake, there is also an island with the same name where you can visit a Franciscan monastery. The most remote island of Croatia is Vis. This island has it all dreamlike beaches, crystalline waters, Mediterranean nature, and overwhelming cliffs. The natural landscapes of this enclave of the Dalmatian coast make anyone fall in love with it. Movie buffs may recognize it as the setting for the second part of the film Mamma Mia. Thanks to its strategic location, in the past the Yugoslav regime turned it into a naval military base close to foreigners. This has kept it away from overcrowding for many centuries. In fact, it remains one of the quietest islands on the Croatian coast and the restaurants still serve local products. One of the most famous corners of this island is Stinova, a beach hidden between two imposing cliffs. However, reaching it is not easy. It must be accessed by boat from Rukovac or on foot along a narrow and steep path. Sibinik and Min County cover about 1,860 square kilometers, including the islands, coast and hinterland. Sibinik and Min County have 142 islands, islets, and above sea reefs. Most of this archipelago is in the northwestern part of the Sibinik's waters. It is very indented, bare and sparsely inhabited. The area of Sibinik has only 10 island settlements. The most numerous group of islands are the Kurnati, known for their bizarre shapes and splendid natural beauties. Among all Croatian towns on the Adriatic coast, Sibinik is distinguished by its unique location in a picturesque and open bay at the mouth of the KRK River. Initially, it was created as an ancient Croatian castrum, a fortification or encampment at the bottom of street. Michael Fortress, that still dominates the town. Sibinik was mentioned for the first time in 1066, 
in a document issued by the most important Croatian ruler, the King Petar Krasimir IV. Sibinik obtained the status of a native Croatian town in 1290 after the establishment of the Diocese of Sibinik. The view on Sibinik reveals the unique harmony of the urban poetics of the town and its natural surroundings. The harbor, connected to the open sea by street, Anthony Strait has been an initiator of the town's maritime affairs development, trading, and overall economic prosperity for centuries. At the entrance into the strait, there is the Fortress of Street. Nicholas, the most important Renaissance fortress on the eastern coast of the Adriatic. Fortresses of Street. Michael, Street. John and Subisivak surrounding the town represent a symbol of the centuries-old Sibinik's continuous resistance. That fact was once more confirmed in the recent Croatian War of Independence. Sibinik Street, James Cathedral, built more than a century ago, represents the testimony of the persistence, sacrifice, and beliefs of generations of Sibinik inhabitants. It is unique for many things, not only Croatian, but also European. Architecture, it is built entirely of stone. Its uniqueness is in the use of stone slabs and ribs brave structures built without using any binding materials. It is also distinguished by its trefoil front facade among Renaissance churches. Finally, it is unique in the harmony of its architecture and the series of 71 realistic sculptural portraits round the apses. The building of the cathedral among its Renaissance churches was continued with contributions from the entire community. Among them was a number of individuals too, including a large number of domestic stone dressers, builders and artisans. The most important among them was Yuraj Matejev Dalmadinak, originally from Zadar, who was commissioned by the town in 1441. As the protomaster of the Sibinix Cathedral, the cathedral and the nearby Renaissance town hall, as well as the nearby churches, palaces, and the Prince's Palace presently housing the County Museum, probably represent Croatia's heritage's most beautiful square. 